What if I told you that a sudden climate shift nearly 13,000 years ago transformed the Earth and its inhabitants? Welcome to the Younger Dryas, a period that has puzzled scientists for decades. The Younger Dryas is a significant climatic event that occurred approximately 12,900 to 11,700 years ago, marking a sudden return to glacial conditions during a time when the Earth was warming after the last ice age. This unexpected reversal in climate not only affected the environment but also had profound implications for the flora and fauna that inhabited the Earth, as well as the early human societies that were beginning to emerge. In this video, we will explore the causes, effects and implications of the Younger Dryas and what it reveals about our planet's climate system. By delving into the scientific theories surrounding this period, examining its impact on ecosystems and human populations, and considering its relevance to contemporary climate change, we aim to uncover the mysteries of the Younger Dryas and its lasting legacy on Earth. Join us as we embark on this fascinating journey through time. The Younger Dryas is named after the Dryas octopetala, a flower that thrived in the cold conditions of this period. This resilient plant serves as a symbol of the harsh climate that characterized the Younger Dryas, which saw a significant return to glacial conditions. The name reflects the unique ecological environment that emerged during this time, where only certain species could adapt to the frigid temperatures and altered landscapes. This event began around 12,900 years ago, and lasted until about 11,700 years ago, interrupting the warming trend that followed the last ice age. The Younger Dryas represents a brief but intense period of climatic instability where temperatures plummeted, leading to a stark contrast with the gradual warming that had been taking place. This sudden shift not only affected the climate, but also had far-reaching consequences for the ecosystems and human populations that were beginning to flourish in the post-Ice Age world. During this time, large parts of North America and Europe experienced a dramatic drop in temperatures, with evidence of glacial advances and changes in vegetation. Glaciers that had been retreating began to advance once more, covering vast areas and reshaping the landscape. The colder climate led to a shift in vegetation zones, with tundra-like conditions replacing the forests and grasslands that had been expanding. This transformation created a challenging environment for both wildlife and early human communities, forcing them to adapt to the new realities of a rapidly changing world. The Younger Dryas serves as a powerful reminder of the Earth's dynamic climate system, and the potential for abrupt changes that can reshape life on our planet. When it comes to understanding the Younger Dryas, several leading theories have emerged to explain the sudden climatic shift that occurred during this period. One prominent theory suggests that massive amounts of fresh water from melting glaciers disrupted ocean currents, particularly the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC. This critical oceanic system plays a vital role in regulating global climate by transporting warm water from the tropics to the North Atlantic. The influx of fresh water from melting ice sheets could have diluted the salty seawater, disrupting the AMOC and leading to a significant cooling effect across the Northern Hemisphere. Another theory posits that a comet or asteroid impact may have triggered wildfires and released soot into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and causing a rapid drop in temperatures. This impact hypothesis suggests that the collision could have ignited widespread fires, releasing large amounts of particulate matter into the atmosphere. The resulting soot would have created a veil that reduced solar radiation reaching the Earth's surface, further contributing to the cooling trend observed during the Younger Dryas. To support these theories, scientists have gathered a wealth of evidence from various sources. Ice core samples extracted from Greenland and Antarctica provide invaluable data on past temperatures and atmospheric composition, revealing distinct layers that correspond to the Younger Dryas. Additionally, sediment layers from lakes and ocean floors contain clues about changes in vegetation and animal life during this period. Fossil records also offer insights into the species that thrived or perished in response to the climatic shifts. Together, these lines of evidence help scientists piece together the complex events of the Younger Dryas, shedding light on the underlying causes of this intriguing climatic phenomenon. The Younger Dryas led to significant changes in ecosystems, with many species facing extinction due to the harsh conditions that prevailed during this period. 
As temperatures plummeted and glacial advances reshaped the landscape, habitats that had once supported diverse flora and fauna were drastically altered. The colder climate resulted in a shift in vegetation zones, with tundra-like environments replacing the forests and grasslands that had flourished in the preceding warmer period. This transformation created a challenging environment for many species, leading to a decline in biodiversity and the extinction of several organisms that could not adapt to the new conditions. Among the most affected were the megafauna, large animals that roamed the earth during the late Pleistocene. Species such as mammoths, mastodons, and saber-toothed cats struggled to survive as their habitats changed and food sources became scarce. The younger Dryas created a perfect storm of challenges for these animals, including colder temperatures, reduced vegetation, and increased competition for resources. Ultimately, these pressures contributed to their eventual extinction, marking a significant loss in biodiversity and altering the dynamics of ecosystems across North America and beyond. For early human societies, the younger Dryas posed challenges for hunting and gathering, forcing them to adapt to new conditions or migrate to more hospitable areas. As the climate cooled and resources became limited, hunter-gatherer groups had to change their strategies for survival. Some communities may have shifted their focus to different food sources, while others were compelled to move to regions that offered better access to game and edible plants. This period of adaptation and migration likely played a crucial role in shaping the development of human societies, influencing their cultural practices and social structures as they navigated the challenges presented by the younger Dryas. The resilience and ingenuity of these early humans in the face of environmental upheaval highlight the complex interplay between climate and human survival throughout history. Around 11,700 years ago, the Earth began to warm again, leading to the end of the Younger Dryas and the onset of the Holocene epoch. This transition marked a significant shift in the planet's climate, as temperatures gradually rose and the glaciers that had advanced during the Younger Dryas began to retreat. The warming trend allowed ecosystems to recover and flourish, leading to the re-establishment of forests, grasslands, and diverse habitats that had been diminished during the colder period. This climatic shift not only facilitated the resurgence of flora and fauna, but also set the stage for the development of human civilizations, as stable and warmer conditions allowed for agriculture and permanent settlements to emerge. Studying the Younger Dryas helps scientists understand the potential consequences of current climate change, particularly how quickly ecosystems can shift in response to abrupt climatic events. The rapid changes observed during the Younger Dryas serve as a cautionary tale, illustrating that ecosystems can be highly sensitive to alterations in temperature and precipitation patterns. As we face contemporary climate challenges, the lessons learned from this period underscore the importance of monitoring environmental changes and their impacts on biodiversity and human societies. Understanding the mechanisms behind past climate shifts can provide valuable insights into the potential trajectories of our current climate crisis. Ongoing research into the Younger Dryas continues to shed light on this complex period, as scientists employ advanced technology and interdisciplinary approaches to uncover more about its global impact. Techniques such as high-resolution ice core analysis, sediment dating and genetic studies of ancient species are being utilized to gain a deeper understanding of the climatic, ecological and human dynamics at play during the Younger Dryas. By piecing together the intricate puzzle of this period, researchers aim to enhance our knowledge of Earth's climate history and improve our ability to predict future changes, ultimately contributing to more effective strategies for mitigating the impacts of climate change today. The Younger Dryas serves as a powerful reminder of the Earth's dynamic climate system and the interconnectedness of environmental changes and human survival. This period of abrupt climate change, marked by a sudden return to glacial conditions, highlights how quickly ecosystems can shift and how these changes can profoundly impact both wildlife and human societies. From the extinction of megafauna to the adaptations of early human populations, the Younger Dryas illustrates the delicate balance between climate and life on our planet. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the theories surrounding the Younger Dryas? Do you find the evidence compelling, 
or do you have your own ideas about what might have caused this dramatic climate shift? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Earth's fascinating history, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Your support helps us continue to create engaging content that explores the mysteries of our planet and its past. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please leave a like and subscribe, it helps us a lot. As we wrap up our journey through the Younger Dryas, we want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each of you for joining us. Your curiosity and engagement are what make this community so special, but this is just the beginning. In our next video, we'll be diving into the mysterious world of ancient civilizations that thrived and vanished long before recorded history. From the enigmatic structures of Gobekli Tepe to the lost city of Atlantis, we'll explore the wonders and secrets that still baffle scientists and historians alike. So, stay tuned and keep that sense of wonder alive. Together, we'll continue to uncover the incredible stories of our planet's past. See you soon.